I am here with Sean Fagans, the second baseman for the Seattle Mariners. And Figgy, I know that you've played some second base in your career, but you're not labeled as a second baseman. <laughs> has there been an adjustment period for you, and how has it been? Uh, in the beginning, it, it was tough. In spring training, it was tough, uh, even though I worked out a lot in, in the off season, But game reaction is different than, than actual just taking ground balls. Um, I had to kind of back off my aggressiveness from third base because third base you're going to get everything you're being aggressive whereas second base you can't do that mm -hmm. and um, just working with a couple coaches in the spring training after a couple games really got me back on track and it's been pretty comfortable since then. Well you played your entire career in Anaheim I want to talk to you about the fact that you're not leading off anymore obviously Ichiro Suzuki is here is it the same game for you just get on base and, and steal some? Yeah I mean I'm probably getting hit behind a Hall of Famer that's mm -hmm. that's a first of all that's a, a great thing to do uh but for the way my game is played, it, it just makes it a lot easier for me hitting behind him um, because I see pitches anyways. You know, I'm going to move the ball around, hit and run, bunt, and, and, and steal. So my game really doesn't change just because of what he does at, in the leadoff spot. Now I have to talk about your offense, and unfortunately you're, you're, the Seattle Mariners are, are last in almost every category in the American League. I know that you guys have a new hitting coach in Alonzo Powell. I'm sure that he's going to make a difference here. How has it been with him, and how do you fix this? Um, well, like I said, I, I've known Alonzo ever since I was in the minor leagues. He used to take uh, me and a couple of guys out to eat. Uh, you know, it was obviously not AC's fault. It was our fault that we wasn't hitting. Uh, he gave us he gave us everything we needed to to prepare ourselves for the game and, and, and go out in there and be successful. We just didn't do what we needed to do. Um, Alonzo's going to come in here and do the same thing. Uh, it's just one of those things where, as a as a team, we need to we need to get it done. You know, what I mean, it's it's not the coach's fault, uh, but it's it's on us to get the job done. Sean, I know you've played behind some great pitchers with the Anaheim Angels. Talk about what it's like to play behind Felix Hernandez and Cliff Lee. Uh, it's it's been fun so far, uh, but the Fister and and. And Vargas and, and Rowan Smith are some good ones too. Facing them for a couple of years has been tough, uh, but it, it's been fun to 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 pitch behind guys that are that attack the strike zone like the Angels pitchers did. And you know, it's it's time to just try to turn it up a notch a little bit. That was my next question, Doug Fister. How impressive has he been? Well, I remember watching him pitch last year, and I was impressed by how how aggressively he attacked the strike zone. And I think more some of the great pitchers always attack the, the strike zone and that's something that him and Vargas are doing real well. I know Ken Griffey Jr. has been in the news lately. I'm not going to talk about the drama on this team. I want you to tell me about how great of a mentor he's been to you and what your relationship is with him. Uh, a couple years ago when he was in Cincinnati, I, I went up and asked him uh, personally to sign a jersey like I do anybody I need to sign a jersey. Um, and last year, you know, I mean, didn't really say much to him, just how you doing and everything all right. And I mean, the, the last home stand in the series, he, he offered his phone number to me. He sent it to a clubhouse. And uh, I told my brother that was probably one of the the greatest things ever uh, other than, you know what I mean, meeting Garrett Anderson and him him taking me under his wing in Anaheim uh, for somebody like that to to just offer their phone number to you with, with no rhyme or reason. Just respect the type of person you are and the, the things you're doing on the field. It's, was a huge thing for me and actually get to be his teammates even funner because he, he never makes a day tough. He's always, you know what I mean, enjoy it. You know what I mean? Where it's going bad or going good, enjoy it. And that's the, the best part. I, I didn't know about him until now. Thank you for sharing that. One last question with the drama with Milton Bradley and again back to the Griffey thing. How important is it for you guys to not pay attention to any of that negative stuff and really focus on what's important and that's playing good baseball and winning ball games? Well, with Milt, I mean, when somebody has to leave because of stuff, personal stuff going on, you you don't think of baseball first. Uh, his his mental state or, or his health is more important than baseball. That comes secondary. Um, so we're backing him up on that. That's a that's a huge thing just to back him up, not worry about baseball and, and just getting him healthy. Um, but stuff like this usually brings a team together, and that's, that's stuff where we need to, to always to come together as a team when stuff's not going good. Thanks, Figgy. You're welcome.